The RSTX2 features the newly adjusted E-Trax Plus Pearl cover stock and RST or Rotostar Tour asymmetric core. Angel's layout is the same as always, 5x3.5x3.5. By by that puts the pin above the bridge and kicks the PSA out a couple inches. My layout's 4 and 3 quarter by 3.5x3.5, and by and which puts the pin in my ring finger and kicks the PSA out a bit further. E-Trax Plus Pearl is a bit earlier and slower than the base E-Trax cover on the Rubicon UC2, but still offers a lot of length up front and a lot of boom down lane. The asymmetric RST core is medium strength for an ASIM, not quite a mild ASIM like the Tensor core in the Insight or the Rondeur core in the Rubicons, but not as strong as something like the RAD4 in the Code series or the Atomic core in the Physics series. It comes in at a 253RG, 053 differential, and an 016 split or intermediate differential and 15 pounds, and it creates a very round and continuous motion on the lanes that has plenty of torque without being too early or aggressive. The X2 is a great complement to the X1 as it shapes virtually identically, just being longer and quicker as well as a couple boards weaker. For ratings, I've got the RSTX2 at an 8 for hook, a 7 for length, and a 9 for back end strength. This puts it on par with the UFO Alert, but a bit ahead of the UC2 and Hook. It's the same length as the UC2 and a bit longer than the Alert, and right between the two and back end strength. Select the next comparison you'd like to see from the links on the screen, or scroll down to the description to find links to other choices. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.